DJ AFK here. Uh, today we will walk through uh, Comfy UI and doing a model swap. Uh, this is a way to teach models things that they normally would not be able to do. Uh, you can turn anime characters or art characters into uh, realistic people, for instance. Uh, there are many things and possibilities. This, without further ado, let's get to it. We will start with the default Comfy UI uh, workspace here. This is everything that you need to generate from text. You basic of basic workflows. Let's Last bottle to the Dream Crafter. Uh, this is an LCM model, so we do need to make some slight modifications uh, using that for speed. Get through the tutorial faster. Since it's LCM, we modified CFG down quite a bit 2.5. That's the max we can go. But I like using Euler Ancestral. Uh, this model seems to like it. Let's go ahead and make portrait. Fan. That load. All right. That's bottle. Before we get too far, we need to make a slight modification. Instead of having the text and code prompt like this, we do want to split the string so that it can be reused later. Text node here, any text node will do just fine. Text to conditioning it. So these two will replace this one. Put our contents here, move our clip, Positive conditioning. This box. Put this place. And connect X. This will do the same thing. Go ahead and get rid of that random seed so we're not place. Still have a glass bottle. Uh, we don't at the moment need to worry about the VAE. Uh, you can put in a load VAE node, put in your voice there. Now that we have our first image, let's go ahead and take our latent here. Another K sampler. This, another image. This one we will also set to 10 steps. So if you're using a, a non LCM model, uh, 25, 35, whatever checkpoint needs to be. But let's lower our CFD to 1.9. So that would be the equivalent of about a 6 on a normal model. We'll again change this to Euler Ancestral. We're going to drop our denoise about 0.4. That seems to seems to be a good number. Uh, anything under 0.5 seems to work for this. But we are also going to copy and paste checkpoint node. We're going to load a realistic model. Take our model. UK sampler. Now you can just take the clip from the original model, this does work, and put it into the positive on this K sampler, or rather, uh, you would this text the conditioning node that. So instead, let's uh, let's go ahead and do the final portion here and set another text to conditioning to use this clip. And we drag our text from this box in so that we have the same prompt. Now, you can use a different prompt on this step, but most of the time that's not necessary. Uh, let's go ahead and 
add a Laura. This VAE, because it could be different. Clip connected, and we can just our same negative prompt over here, or just copy and paste one. Try to keep it halfway up. A negative prompt is not used as much as you think with these models. Um, and with low CFG with LCM models, it can be quite detrimental to have anything in this box. Add or a stacker. I only need one for this example. You can you can set up a couple. We might get that far. But let's uh, select our Laura using a Final Fantasy anime style character for this. Set this right here. Checkpoint down. We're going to. Or a stack. You can use just a basic Laura, but this will make steps later a little bit easy. Third step between our checkpoint, a sampler, connect a stack, go checkpoint. Positive prompt for clip. Now we need to enter a prompt. Go ahead and just do one word. Yeah. And we did forget to connect our clip here. That's better. We have our anime photo here. Looks pretty decent. And our realistic one doesn't really look very realistic yet. We will get to that. Uh, before we go too far, let's go ahead and stabilize the seed. Let's check the difference. So we will go ahead and load that same model here, same checkpoint rather, and see what we draw. All right, so not quite the same character. She does have the uh, fur, which is kind of hard to show up uh, on the realistic models for some reason, something that people actually do wear. It has a pretty plain looking dress, um, and that headpiece is a little strange, but it, it actually is. And when it turns her into a realistic person, um, headpiece does look a little bit better, actually. <laughs> but let's go back to Dreamcrafter. Try this again. All right. So we, uh, the uh, back piece here is not quite proper, but I guess the point across. Let's go back to this more complete. All right. Now that we have these two pieces, we can take latent right over here, and we will do. Another K sampler. So before we get the K sampler, upscale. 
We either need to upscale the latent or add noise to the latent. Let's 512 times 1.5, 768 times 1.5. Do the math right in the box. You don't have to do that in your head. And then since we're on the same model, go ahead and grab our positive conditioning, negative from here. Also need to model decode latent <laughs> the pre of the closer together so we can pair them. Six steps. CFT needs to go a lot lower now. 1.3, about the equivalent of a, a three and a half or so on a normal model. And killer ancestral. Our denoise for this is going to be 0.5 because we're doing an upscale, just like any other upscale. I like 0.5. Uh, your mileage may vary. But notice in our workflow, we are not applying the LoRa to the second checkpoint. Only going to the text to conditioning uh, to the first case sampler. So the LoRa goes to this image only. And this image is just an image to image from the original. Sometimes you can add another apply LoRa stack here, and then we can drag the same LoRa's in. I don't recommend using the same LoRa's to do that, though. Um, if you do that, you, you can you can just set lower weight, and sometimes that helps apply some of the pieces of that LoRa without completely saturating it out of existence. Let's see what we have with our upscale. On this image. Now we have a proper realistic looking person. Even has five fingers, might even have five toes on each uh, arm, leg, effectively. Uh, now the metallic uh, semicircle back piece here is pretty decent looking for something that uh, someone would wear on a realistic model. The headpiece did kind of go a little crazy there. It, it doesn't know what's going on between the back piece and the headpiece. But her dress looks pretty close to the original. A whole lot better than when we had the realistic model starting out. I hope that helps with uh, the conceptualizing of adding a new model into your workflow. This does use extra VRAM. Keep that in mind. It loads both models at the same time. It won't unload them while it's still in queue. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, what I should add. We will get to some more complicated uh, workflows that utilize this process. Till then, stay safe.